Evan, I want our baby. Right now? <laughs> no, you said in two years we would have a baby. Devin has been two years. Listen, why are you doing this? You're married. Who cares what people think of you? Cuz, when you lose something, you want it back. Listen, I put up with you not answering the phone. I put up with Maria. I put up with your failing. But I'm not putting up with this. You do this, and I'm gone. Do you think I'm jealous? I don't know, but you're acting really bitchy. I'm not acting really bitchy. It was a profound threat to her. She was receiving phone calls from the other woman. The other woman told her, I am very powerful and I can do what I say. Well, Gladys didn't feel she was very powerful. Gladys always put up with Pedro's infidelity, but in 1998, something different happens. Pedro establishes a serious relationship with another woman, a hair salon owner who calls Gladys and taunts her and gets close. What are you saying? That he was sentimental enough not to take my ring? Or that he wanted to fuck me? I'm just saying the whole situation seemed a little weird, that's all. Do you know what's going to seem a little bit weird? Is that we took so long to call the police. They're all over that alley right now. They're going to find some people who witnessed us. Alright, okay. So he demanded we hand it over, and then he stopped and looked at you, I tried to get the gun away from him, and it went off. And eventually Erica was there, and she said, Cynthia, what's going on? She said, how come you said that I was at a party? And I said, what party? There is no party. They're making this thing up. They had manipulated her into telling them that Yes, there was a party. They threatened to throw in prison and she would lose her two-year-old. She had a, a little boy.